5-axis support has been added in FeatureCount 2013 to a number of toolpath strategies. This includes between two curves, pencil milling and corner remachining. In this particular example we're going to look at some pencil milling. In the case of this part we have a press tool component and we have an STL that's making up our stock. I'm just going to select the stock I'm just going to hide this for the time being just to clear up the part. In the case of this part you can see we've got two toolpaths, we've got the pencil mill 3 axis and the pencil mill 5 axis. If I go into the properties of this toolpath, note that we are cutting just the edge between these faces here. I'm also collision checking against the fillets so that we don't get any additional machining around the part. If I go to the tool size, you can see we're using a 6mm ball nose. This is the standard tool available in the, in the metric tool crib. So let's have a look at the simulation. I'm just going to go into a 3D simulation. Just do a single step first of all to establish the toolpath. So here's the tool into position. I'm just going to choose the Alt F3 to move the tool. Straight away it's telling me I've got a collision. And I continuously got the collision as I try and move the tool along. If I turn off this, just to let it play all the way through, using the Alt F3, you can see quite clearly that we have a collision with the holder across this area of the component. And also as we make our way to the really high areas at the base of this press tool, you can see we've got a continuous collision with the holder. So previously we would have had to create a longer tool just to machine down these regions. But now what we have is the ability to add a 5-axis orientation. Now in this example you can see the 5-axis mill is already created for you. Or we can go in and edit the properties of this one. In this kind of case I'm going to select Pencil. You'll notice there is a 5-axis tab. I'm going to select the 5-axis tab. I'm going to select Use Lead Lean and set a lean angle in this case of 35 degrees. Let's apply. Say OK. Again, single step to calculate the toolpath. We get the same calculation, only this time we're going to add a 5-axis orientation. The tool comes into position. Again, single step or using Alt F3. You can now see the tool is already tilting into position. I can now let it flow through. You can see the tool is tilted over and is now collision free. If I let this play all the way through, you can see the tool is clear of the part. And it's finished like so. I can verify this if I stop the simulation, just go to the options and turn on the gauge check again. Again, single step. Play the simulation. So the tool makes its way all the way around the part without gauging or colliding with the component.